Welcome to the Story of Liberty. It was on this day, March 18th in 1885, when seven men called the Cambridge Seven, they sailed from England and arrived in Shanghai. Charles Studd was the leader of the group, one of England's most famous cricket players at one time. He was a man of great strength, but also had harbored great faults. He worked passionately, and when he was in China, he labored to exhaustion for souls. At the age of 25, he legally gained control of a very large inheritance. He gave it all to the Lord's work, and he said where he had found a greater wealth. He stated, I cannot tell you what joy it gave me to bring the first soul to the Lord Jesus Christ. I tasted almost all the pleasures of this world, but the pleasure of bringing someone to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ was greater. Later he poured himself into India and Africa, and he said, if Jesus Christ be God and died for me, then no sacrifice can be too great for me to make for him. He worked sometimes for 18 hours a day and he overwhelmed those around him. His faults were obvious. He left his wife, who was often ill and lonely, and abandoned her in England for years while Stud was overseas. He expected those around him to work as hard as he did, and he grew critical of those who didn't. He wrote a book deploring Christians and who were lazy, and he entitled it DCD standing for don't care a damn. He began treating his exhaustion and disorders with morphine and he died in Africa in 1931. He was broken in body and spirit, but his fruit still remains. The organization he founded, Worldwide Evangelism, is still sending out missionaries and changing the world for good. Despite his many faults and the inevitable feet of clay that all of us have as perfect vessels, he remains one of our most passionate missionaries of all time.